So that's ugly bathroom sink time. A uh, roommate called me in and said, hey, the sink is leaking. And I said, that's because there's a dog underneath it. Piper, come on, get out of the way. And we were looking for where it was leaking. And sure enough, we found this, this tailpiece. It's completely broken off. I don't know what the rest of it is right now. Oh, it's right there. So this is supposed to be one piece. Uh, it finally corroded through the metal. I'm sure that this is probably 40, 40 years old or more. I mean, this bathroom hasn't been updated in a very long time. Uh, so, you know what they say, go to the hardware store. All right, so there's the replacement. Let's pick this up at the hardware store. It was like $9. So, I mean, this is not an expensive repair. It just takes a little bit of time and a whole lot of cleaning. So the first thing that you want to do when you pull this out of here is thoroughly clean this area in here. I've already done it with some paper towels, but it gets pretty gunky and it's very gross. So if you're uh, if you're if you don't like gross things, too bad. Thank you, Piper. I have very healthy dogs. Hello, Piper. Can I? Can I? Of course not. Okay. All right. First thing we want to do is unplug this. Now this, I don't know, I call this the tail piece, but I think that, uh, well, it's a wall tube. And I don't know, they all have different names, but this comes in as CO plug. And I don't know if that's any relation to Carl O plug, but I don't think so. So this comes in a couple of pieces. There's a nut on here that you unscrew. I know it's exciting. And there is this rubber washer. And just to show you the difference, this is the old rubber washer. This is the new one. And it's kind of flexible and all that. This one, look at how cracked that is. It's just so deteriorated. That needed some replacing. But one thing that I like to do, now this is going to go into the sink and it's tapered here. It's got this rounded edge that matches the one in the sink. They're, they're standard. But uh, what I like to do, is put in a little bit of this silicone grease. Um, there's also plumber's putty. I tend to like this because it's very thin and is more waterproof and doesn't uh, doesn't hurt either the metal or the ceramic of the sink. So I just put a nice thin little bead on there. I also like to put some on the threads makes it a little easier to put that washer on. Yeah. This just drops in. You can see how uh, nicely that fits in there. And we come underneath and we have this sitting down on the bottom. Once that is in from the top, Take this rubber washer and pull in from the bottom. Just push it onto there as best you can. And then you take the nut with this flat side up. That flat side will press against the uh, rubber washer and help make this a watertight seal. Uh, at least it's supposed to. Come on. Right. Are you going to mess with me? Are you going to mess with me? Yeah, you sure are. What a pain in the butt. 
All right, so I got a little problem where this washer is a little bit too thick to fit there. Hmm, what to do, what to do. All right, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Hi, this is Editing Rob, and uh, this is when things went a little bit wrong, at least the first time. Uh, the washer that I got was too thick to fit in the sink, and I didn't really understand why at the time. Uh, I do understand it a little bit better now, but uh, I didn't know it until now. So the rest of this video is me trying to work with something that isn't uh, isn't really designed for it, but uh, cobble something together that works. So I'm going to have to redo this again in the future, but this will at least work for now. But uh, I make mistakes, so you don't have to. All right, back to work. And then I discovered a problem with the microphone. Uh, I was using a wireless mic for the first time on the camera, and somehow with all the dog invasion, it came unplugged. So I'm having to redo all of this. Found some plumber's putty at the hardware store. This is the kind of thing that you really should be using when you're replacing the tailstock on a pipe or on a, on a sink. It's got kind of the consistency of modeling clay or uh, Play-Doh or, you know, something like that. It's, it's actually kind of nice to work with. Uh, basic idea is you want to make a worm and make it big enough so that it'll fit around the uh, flare end of the tailstock coming out of the, out of the sink. The idea is when you insert this into the sink, there will be a cushion between the metal part and the ceramic of the sink that will, the, the putty will squeeze and form a seal against the ceramic and you'll have a nice watertight seal around the top. Okay, now I got this washer, which was the same inside diameter as the other one, was about half as thick, which is what I was looking for. Uh, what I didn't realize at the time was that it was also not quite the right size. Uh, I They really didn't have other ones, so this one fit inside of the sink cavity and acts to form a seal between the sink cavity and the tailpiece but it doesn't overlap over the ceramic on the bottom so what I ended up having to do is I got this metal washer and I put a piece of um, Gorilla tape like or like flex seal or something like that on the bottom and then screw the washer on tighten it up uh, Tightening the washer, you want to be careful not to tighten it so much that it cracks the ceramic or pulls the uh, pulls the tailpiece through from the top of the sink. That is uh, quite possible to do if you go a little bit overzealous on this. You don't need to. All it needs to be is snug and enough to make it watertight. You can also add silicone sealant down here if you would like. Now, when I was taking the tail piece out or taking the, the wall piece out the the p-trap I looked inside the drain pipe and it is clogged so you know gotta do the thing gotta get in there and dig it out and boy is that gross now it's very black uh, most of the blackness is from a well it's from partially oxidized iron uh, it's kind of like black rust I think this is known as ferrous oxide. It's like a Fe2O3 instead of the Fe3. Um, but I was able to get that cleared pretty well. Really should go in and try and clear it out a little bit better. But it's, you know, I'm working with what I got here. That pipe was broken off a long time ago. And I can't get to it to replace it. It's, it's a mess. So putting the tailpiece into the P-trap. Got to put the 
the screw top on first and then the um, compression fitting goes in with the uh, offset side down, the, the slanted side down because that fits into a mating part inside of the P-trap itself that's being screwed on here. Uh, you want to screw this on hand tight. You really don't need to get in there with a wrench and tighten it up. Uh, it does get a little wonky here if you notice there's a dog. Yes. Yes, you're very healthy. Oh, yes, that's that's good. Okay, that's my ear. I'm doing stuff. Yeah, no, you don't want that. That's a smelly ick, ick, ick from the sink. Um, apparently I need to take a dog break. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Buff, buff. And uh, as you can see, this nice little bead of the plumber's putty is uh, has come up around the edges. And actually, it comes right off real, real nice. So there should be a very watertight seal around this. seems to be draining pretty good. So I'm going to plug the sink and fill it up a little bit and then we'll let a whole bunch of water drain and see what it looks like from underneath. Now because this is kind of a janky installation I wanted to put something around here. The previous person that had done this many many years ago used uh, foam sealant it was not quite the right thing but I guess it worked enough because there's not exactly a lot of pressure but with the way that this is draining those pipes are getting pretty clogged and I wanted to fill it in with some plumbers putty in the meantime in here we drain some of the water I do believe that is working yes I don't see any water leaking out anywhere. I don't see any uh, little drips or anything. So I think this is good. Uh, this can be a long-term fix, at least until I get to a point where I can do more of a remodel. There's so much that has to be redone in this bathroom. It's ridiculous, but it's, it's a very expensive job and I don't have time to do it myself. So, I don't have time or money either, so yeah, do what I can with what I have. All right, you're going to count that as a win. Uh, see you guys next time. Okay, as I alluded to before, this was not a correct statement. It turns out that the piece I got is made for a different kind of sink. It's sort of like a like a bar sink. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're they're very thin. They're smaller and they don't have an overflow. Uh, the piece that I got doesn't have an overflow, but the sink itself does, and uh, if there's water that gets into the overflow, it's going to get trapped in between there, and that's not good. So at some point, I'm going to have to get another piece and replace it, and um, I may or may not do a video on that. It would probably be a good idea to show you how to do it the correct way, but live and learn or watch my videos and learn because you know I screw up and I'm not perfect if I was I would probably